شماره میخوام Well, of course, of course, thank you. Of course, you know today is Nkrumah's uh, uh, birthday. We are, we are celebrating Founder's Day. And his greatest vision he had was that if we get a chance, we should be able to prove to the world that the African or the Ghanaian or the black man is capable of managing his own affairs, man. Show some love, man. And that was his vision. That was his vision. He didn't quite see that yet. And... Uh, let me tell you, the generation that followed after that didn't quite do it, you know. But the generation that is coming up, lots of hope in. Very, very confident youth that are coming up. They are very sharp, they are very focused. And I believe that eventually, in their time, we will prove to the world that we are capable of managing our own affairs. Show some love, man. Show some love. So today I'm going to look at um, some young guys doing some fascinating things. And that's why I am hopeful. Say, Yeko baby. My first guest, man, he went to the University of Ghana. I think he studied sociology. If I'm wrong, he'll correct me when he comes on. And uh, somehow, he has become one of the finest shoe designers in this country. Take a clip of some of the pictures, some of the things. Take a look at this. Stuff is done. Sorry, you haven't seen him yet. Now let's meet this man. Show some love to, for the great Tony Senaya. Tony, yes, congratulations, man. Thank you. You do yes. you do fantastic stuff. You try. You try. Oh, you're doing more than trying, man. You're right. excelling. Thank you. Well, but you 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 went to university Ghana and you studied sociology. And was, were you an SRC president, I hear? Or? Yes, uh, I, I, I got involved in student politics. Yeah, so I was my whole president for Sabah and also acted as SRC president. Okay, okay. And normally when you get involved in student politics, somehow they're able to recruit you into mainstream yeah, I mean, politics. The normal progression has been that to work into straight national politics. But then I, I took a different turn and um, people always ask that question, why are you not doing politics? Because most of my contemporaries are now spokespersons for various political who, parties. Who are some of them? Oh, Samia Uku, Achina Brintu, Samia Uku of the MPP, Achina Brintu of the NDC, and a whole lot of them. You know, so when our mates see me, why are you not doing politics? But I tell them, look, politics, they, they go there to say that they want to better the life of the people. But if I can do that in different field, mm. why not? Why must I go and join the band, bandwagon? Mm. Because I mm. believe everybody anywhere can do politics and can change lives, not mm. necessarily being going to active yeah, politics. In the forefront of politics. Show some love. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. So, so, so you, you drifted into shoes. How, how did that happen with your sociology background? Well, um, I believe all young people growing up say they have my one day dream. One day I will do this, one day I will do that. I also had that thing. And uh, my, basically my dream was to work with people, like people development, okay? And then um, I also dreamed of building vocational institutes to mm. rid the street of the kids. Because when I see the kids running around to sell just a sachet of pure water mm. in, in these parallel streets, it's quite hard, heartbreaking. And I also noticed that there are a lot of people who have learned artisanship in carpentry, dressmaking, shoemaking, yet it is not big. Mm. They, are, they do very good stuff. Mm. Only the guy living behind them and the guy across the street know about them. So one day I just told myself, look, one day I'll bring all these people together. They will do, they will do good stuff and we'll serve the people. And I also noticed that the Ghanaian does not necessarily care where the shoes are, where the products are coming from, provided it is of top quality. Mm. So these shoes, start, these shoes things started when I was doing my national service. I ordered a pair from a man I was living with at La Paz. I took it to work and my colleagues were like, National Service personnel, how much are you paid to afford these shoes? Hmm. Do one for me, do one for me, do one for me. And that was the beginning. Then I told myself, the future is now. So I took advantage of it. Then I had to go and learn. 
I have to go and learn, not to the nitty gritties, but how it works. I have to start looking at what the young guys were wearing. Then I'll go back to him, Master. They say shoe in Abba and Tiyabi Mamin Koton Mom. Ah, so the guy you were living with, he does shoes. Yeah, he, he, he does shoes. And you, you wore them and people were telling you, It's good. Where do you, where, how can I afford this shoe? These shoes. And I told oh. them it was locally made. So, so you told it was locally made? Yeah, that okay. was November 2009. Wow. So in November, August 2010, I opened my own workshop and I brought in some young, young guys and that has been the beginning of horseman shoes. Wow. So the man, the man taught you how to make the shoes? Yeah, he, he, he did. I, I, I learned the rudiments as okay. to which one is a good leather, which one is a good sole. When you say platform shoes, what is it? Which occasion should you wear which, which shoes? Yeah. Yeah. So and going on, I, I develop it from there. I, I, go to the, I go to the internet. I follow big designers. I look at celebrities, what they are wearing, which occasion. You know, so that I, I develop my skill in it. Fantastic. Beautiful, man. And, and so you're, you're, you're called Horseman? Horseman? Yeah. That's Horseman. the brand? That's the brand name, Horseman Shoes. Horseman Shoes. Fantastic. And, and I hear you get big contracts. Huh? You've been making for some schools. And what, who, who are your clients? Yes, and basically we do men dress shoes. We do unisex sandals and slippers. We do contract manufacturing for schools. That's in school sandals. Then we do safety boots. So in 2010, I manufactured for certain schools like in Fansepim, Accra Girls, mm. St. Mary's. As how, how did you how did they how did you go and pitch? No, it was it was very simple. I just wrote a very simple letter and I, I attached my catalogue to it. Wow. I did most of the headmistresses and headmasters I didn't meet. But when they came and they saw the the, the catalogue, they called me. Accra girls called me, look, I have seen your catalogue. The pictures are too good to be true. Bring physical samples and let me see. I went, I negotiated and he, she gave me the contract. In fancy film, I had the headmaster. He said, look, wow. we are going on vacation. The board will decide. We will call you when we take the decision. One Sunday, I was roaming around and I had a call. This is Kwame Eja. In fancy film, wants to buy your sandals. I mean, wow. I didn't know anybody. It was just a bold decision I took. And you just sent it out I there? I just sent it out there. And Later, so certain schools were calling, but because the time was too short, my yeah. capacity was very small, yeah. I couldn't, I, I, I didn't take those contracts. So how many orders do they take, for example, when they wanted you to make, when they call? In, in, in the regions of hundreds, the list, the list I did was around 250, 250 pairs of sandals. Mm, they, mm. they take in the regions of hundreds. Wow. wow. <laughs> and, 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 I, and I hope the youth are listening to this, you know, this is quite amazing. He just took the decision, sent brochures to certain schools, and he got a response. And that's how it starts. That's how it starts. What are some of the challenges you face? Young guy breaking into the shoemaking industry, and Ghanaians always say, there's something you said, I, don't, I, don't, I want to go back to that before I forget. You said that Ghanaians are not looking for imported stuff, they just want good quality the, stuff. This good quality stuff, because now I sell to clients who buy a click of a button, buy shoes from any corner of the world. Initially, these are big guys in the society. Initially, they bought to encourage me, but later on, they, re they gave me referrals. They called again for orders. Because you're doing good quality shoes. Th then, then it gives you the encouragement that, no, they have accepted your, your, your product. So it doesn't really matter where the shoes come from or where the product comes from, provided it, it is of top quality. So now I encourage young people, like, wherever you are, this, the little corner that you are, do, do your best because it will sell. When it is that good, people will look for you. Fantastic, man. Um, let, let me have some samples. Yes, let me, I know I saw, we saw the pictures, but let me see some of the stuff that you have done. Wow. Where are you from? Where are you And And these are ladies. We oh, these are for ladies? Ladies, yeah. We made from our, our rich kente. We do leather. Oh. We do fabrics. Wow, wow, wow. Um, wow. So, where are you from? I mean, check out where are you from? So, um, um, what, what's the number people can reach you on? I mean, this what? is fascinating. And the reason I'm saying this is because I like to support Ghanaian ingenuity. And as young as you are, and uh, as well as you're doing, I think, I think you must be encouraged and supported. Is it, where, 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 can, where can people reach you on? Well, um, anybody who wants to reach me should kindly visit my website. Okay. www.horsemanshoes.com Okay. www.horsemanshoes.com or you can just Google Horseman on Google and it, uh, it will appear. You can also visit us on our Facebook page, Horseman Shoes on Facebook page. And that's it. The, 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 the address is on your, on your screen right now. And, and we just have just under a minute, but some of the challenges you face as a young person in this industry? Well, I, I, I think the most doubting challenge that every young individual faces is the self. 
if you're able to overcome your self-fear, the self-doubt, then all other things are solvable. Of course, the, the, the finances is an issue. State institutions do not support um, young entrepreneurs. Family and friends, most of them don't understand why you want to venture into this. Whilst you can go for white collar jobs, especially when your colleagues are, are working at the banks, they are wearing suits and driving Corolla around, you have a big pack on your back, gallivanting the streets of Accra and Kumasi. But uh, in all, I believe that the most important difficulty is to put aside all the fear and all the doubt in you and chase your dream. Show some love, man. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. And I'm, I'm very, very inspired and very, very encouraged. And especially for the youth that are listening, these are the kinds of things I want you to hear. Mm? And not this whole making unemployment a, a fad. You know, I mean, I'm an unemployed graduate. No, I don't teach it. No, when you I want you to hear that there are other options in life. And this is a very typical example. And as we celebrate the Founders' Day, we let us relive the dream that Nkoma was looking for. Um, elections just around the corner. Uh, what message do you have for the youth of Ghana? Yeah, sure. I mean, elections is coming and um, it's, it's a big event. People are talking peace, peace, peace. And we treat peace as if it's just an event during election time. And the main actors has been the youth, whether good or bad. I would, I would like to tell them that, look, these elections will pass and it will go. But politicians will still be politicians. They will come to you and tell you whatever they want to tell you, but they will not fulfill their promises, especially to us individuals. So if they come to us to go and foment trouble, I always ask myself, how much money should somebody pay me to go and lift a ballot box? Attack anything in his book, Chasing the Elephant in the Bush, defined politics as a profession defined by personal ambition. And the underlying word is personal and ambition. I believe that it is not our ambition to die for a politician. The future is so bright and it's so prosperous for we, the young people. So we should not let the, young, the old people make us cause trouble for the future, which they will not live in. And I believe mm. that it is our time to do what is good for our country, not, not causing electoral violence, and to stay away from violence in politics. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You, you must have gone to a good school. Are you a Prempe? Sure. I mean, growing up, there, was, there wasn't any better school apart from Prempe College. Still. <laughs> Tony, thank you so much for coming. Thank, thank you. Keep it up, man. Thank Keep you. it up. Thank it's fantastic you. what you're doing. Thank you. See you. All right, folks. Stick around. We'll be right back. A chum in Canada. Thank God it's Friday with KSN.